Hey everybody, it's Holly. I just wanted to put a quick video up for Maria who asked about the crochet closure for the scrunchies. Um, as you can see, I'm not knitting a scrunchie right now. Um, I'm working on another project, but it has a stockinette end. Um, so just like the scrunchie, you know, it can be worked onto two edges that are together. Um, this is what it will look like. I used a different color yarn, so you can see it makes a nice neat little edge that almost looks like it was knit sideways. Um, and I use the contrast, you know, you'll be using the same color when you do the scrunchies, but I use the contrast just to show you what that would look like. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up a stitch on either side, whatever the next stitch is. And with the scrunchies, you can start at any point because it's a complete loop. So wherever your start is, is where you decide it is. Um, and you can use your tail to work it. Sometimes that's easier and makes a more seamless look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, you're gonna put one on your hook and I can start over here in a second and show you how to do that. Um, but you're gonna yarn over, which is, I just, you know, I don't do it, I just scoop it. Um, and pull through those two stitches. And then one more and pull through both remaining stitches. Um, and I am not an excellent crocheter. And so when I am working almost any stitch in crochet, um, in my head I'm saying over, two over two so yarn over go through two yarn over go through two um so like i said it works this neat little band that looks like it's almost knit sideways and then the great thing about crochet is you can just pop it right off and like i said you just pick your starting point and if you're using your tail it will already be attached so you don't have to worry about that so we'll pretend that our tail is already attached and we'll pick up, oops, I think I'm gonna move too far. Yeah, we'll pick up two stitches across from each other, one on either side, pretend that our tail is still attached, and we'll pull through those two, and that can be your first stitch, and then you'll start moving into the next one, and like I said, um, wrap, pull two, wrap, pull two. That's the little mantra that I use to remember it. Um, once you go all the way around, you'll be left with a, a one little loop. You can snip and then pull that through and you'll have a tail that you can just weave in and it will be invisible. So Maria, I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll help you work through it.